Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Adam McCullough outside Old Trafford today, bringing you the news. As you see, what, what am I doing outside Old Trafford today? Did you wet the bed this morning? Why are you up so early, Adam? I hear you ask. Well, I'm here. I'm dedicated, unlike the other lads. And we have got loads to get stuck into today. Diogo Delo could be on the move, which could mean Kieran Trippier finally gets his move to Manchester United in this transfer window. There's no Mason Greenwood in Gareth Southgate squad. Jesse Lingard, could he be on his way to Everton as Richarlison is being lined up by Mbappe? Cristiano Ronaldo is heading to Manchester City. And, of course, Manchester United fans are heartbroken. But... Apparently, it could get worse because Manchester United were offered Ronaldo, according to reports. Trippier, Delo, we've already mentioned that. Varane's debut could be coming up this weekend too. And Ahmad Diallo has been offered about on loan and could even have gone to Burnley. So we'll be looking at all that in today's news. Make sure you're getting your comments in the comments below. Keeping it locked to Stretford Paddock by hitting that subscribe button. We recently hit 600,000 subscribers. 600,000 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone that subscribed to us on the channel. I think, what, we could fill Old Trafford, what's that, eight times? With that many subscribers well get subscribing help us hit 750,000 subscribers so we could fill it 10 times get subscribing to Stretford Paddock for all your latest Man United news reviews views fan cams all that good stuff anyway like I said let's get stuck into the news and first things first no Mason Greenwood in the England squad now look not that asked about international football not that asked about the qualifiers about the friendlies about all that jazz not not really bothered but what is incredible is mason greenwood isn't in this squad how is that possible murder mace and to make things worse, gareth southgate comes out after and he says oh yeah we're keeping an eye on the boy you know this that and the other and oh normal circumstances he'd be in the squad what the hell are you talking about bro normal circumstances what are you what are you on about the circumstances are you've got to pick england's best squad and mason greenwood should be in it yet yeah. Gareth Southgate doesn't pick him. Look, like I said, not that bothered. I'm glad if Manchester United players don't go on international break, you know, are able to stay at Carrington, get training, get fit with Manchester United's team rather than flying around the world, potentially getting COVID, potentially having to quarantine and doing this, that and the other. I'd rather they stay at Manchester United, but proper gutted for Mason Greenwood because Mason Greenwood should be in that squad and Mason Greenwood would want to be in that squad. So regardless of my opinions on it and how I feel about it, Mason Greenwood should be playing for England and Gareth Southgate is just continuing to show what an idiot he is. Seriously. <sighs> Moving on from that, it is just rumours at this moment in time, but we are hearing Everton could potentially line up a move for Jesse Lingard. And that is because Richarlison could possibly be on his way to Paris Saint-Germain. And that is because Kylian Mbappe could possibly be on his way to Real Madrid. You see, this is the stage of the where one move is reliant on another move, which is reliant on another move. And if one of those moves happen, the domino effect is going to take place and loads of moves are going to be triggered around Europe. Wow, Lingard, could we be finally getting some money in for him? We also hear West Ham are keen on Jesse Lingard too. They're still keen on Jesse Lingard. So there's a few clubs sniffing around him. And I know for a fact, look, Jesse Lingard, I'd love him to play for Manchester United, stay here, win trophies, be part of a successful squad. But he needs to be playing week in, week out. He's not going to get that here. I can understand why he would want to leave. Now, West Ham, Everton coming in for him. Big clubs should have some money there as well. Hopefully we can get a deal done for him. And both parties should be happy with that. Do you know what I mean? Jesse Lingard tearing it up week in, week out in the Premier League. And Man United being able to get some funds in and free up a space, hopefully, for a midfielder. The problem with Manchester United summer this summer, and we're going to talk about Ronaldo in a bit, and people complaining about us not going for Ronaldo. The bigger problem and the bigger crime for Manchester United isn't that we haven't gone for a 36-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo. It's that we haven't got our midfield sorted out yet, or we haven't got some of the players moved on. Like Andreas Pereira took ages. You know, we wanted to move Diogo De Loa, and that's taking ages. Jesse Lingard, this, that, and the other. There's players that we've been unable, Phil Jones, to move on. And if we had moved them on, we'd have been able to fill our squad with the midfielder that we wanted by now. Because it's been clear that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer does want one, for sure. 
moving on from Jesse Lingard and to Cristiano Ronaldo, as I just said. And sorry to make it worse for you guys at home. Ronaldo was offered to Manchester United. We've heard reports in Spain, in Portugal, and Fabrizio Romano came out and confirmed them as well. And he said Manchester United were offered Cristiano Ronaldo's services by Jorge Mendes, by Juventus, and seemingly have turned it down. Maybe Ole Gunnar Solskjaer thought, I don't think we need Ronaldo. Surely he won't go to City. Surely that can't happen. So we just thought, nah, thanks. And then ignored it and carried on. And then what happens? He's actually going to go to fucking City, isn't he? Oh, my God. Anyway, we'll talk about that later because I can't be bothered to get into it right now. Outside Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams. Probably start crying or something. Moving on, as we mentioned earlier, Diogo Dolo could be on his way to Dortmund. Now, Sky Sports are reporting that Dortmund are in talks with Manchester United for Diogo Dolo. They're looking for a right back now. This would be a deal on loan with an option for a permanent deal or an obligation to buy at the end of that deal. Those things need to get sewn up just yet. But Atletico Madrid are also lining up right backs, according to Fabrizio Romano as well. So we got Fabrizio saying Atletico are lining up right backs. We got Sky saying Diogo Dolo could be on his way to Dortmund. Two plus two equals Trippier coming to Manchester United before the deadline closes. Surely, surely, because we've heard Arsenal are in for him. But Trips is like, I don't want to go to Arsenal. I want to go to Manchester United. I want to sign for the big boys in Manchester. Unlike those blue luck with Ronaldo. And now it could happen. If Diogo Dolo goes to Dortmund, we could potentially see Trippier come to Manchester United before the window closes. And after some of the performances from wan especially at Southampton, there's going to be some games where we need someone who's a little bit better going forward. Varane could be making his debut this weekend, or he should be making his debut this weekend, I tell you. And Ali Gunnar Solskjaer was speaking about him uh, yesterday, and he said, Varane is a winner who will make us better. He is indeed. He is a winner. Won countless trophies. Experience. Still got plenty of his best years ahead of him. Rafael Varane making his Man United debut. You know what I ate? United have allowed our transfer window to be stained, to be smirched. I loved us signing Sancho and Varane. And now because we haven't done proper business, like, like a properly run football club, and we're still sniffing around trying to fill gaps and plug holes. <sighs> doesn't feel as great as it should still excited to see Varane in a Man United shirt hopefully starting against Wolves this weekend one final story Ahmad Diallo has been linked with a move on loan he's been linked with a move to the championship but apparently Man United don't want to send him there and to Sheffield United he's been linked with a move to the Premier League and a move to Burnley and Wolves potentially now Burnley have apparently rejected it because listen to this Sean Dyche wants his, defend, his, his wingers to be aerially combative and to be able to head the ball out. Ahmad Diallo ain't heading shit. Now, I know his first goal was a header against AC Milan, but come on. Ahmad Diallo ain't clearing corners with his head. And that right there is typical sexy Brexit football from Sean Dyche. Listen, I love my wingers defensive, mate. That's what Sean Dyche should say. Oh, you can do all that fancy stuff. You can do all the skills and the tricks and the flicks. But can you defend? Can you defend? Ahmad Diallo said, no, thanks, mate. I can't defend. And Sean Dyche said, cool, I'll find someone that can. So Ahmad Diallo won't be going to Burnley. And you know what, in fact? Allowing Ahmad Diallo, the poor little fella, to go to Burnley would have been worse than allowing Ronaldo to go to that lot down there. Seriously, that would have been a lot worse. Poor fella in Burnley. They don't even have any 4G or 5G. Oh, who would he talk to? Couldn't even Skype back home or nothing. Don't let Diallo go to Burnley. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in to the news. I have been Adam McCullough. This has been Stretford Paddock. We are back later on today with loads of content. So make sure you're keeping it like we got the Wolves uh, preview. We've got the Wolves reaction coming up over the weekend. The watch along, the fan cams, all that good stuff. Until next time, I've been Adam McCullough. I'm out of here.